You might have heard in the news recently that governments have started releasing plans to administer COVID-19 booster shots. It's basically an extra jab for people who have already been double vaccinated and some places are asking people to get it because of waning efficacy and the emergence of new variants. So, do our vaccines still protect us and should we get a booster? Experts are still trying to work out how long a person is protected against COVID-19 after their initial inoculations. Dr. Albert Shaw from Yale University said that since we are learning about COVID-19 in real time, this is hard to know. Studies from the vaccine maker Moderna have reported that protection from two-dose vaccine shots wanes over time. While a major study published in November 2021 from three U.S. health institutions said that all three vaccines currently available in the U.S. eventually lose effectiveness. Surprisingly, data suggested that Johnson & Johnson's single-dose vaccine's efficacy reportedly dropped from 86% to a mere 13% in six months. So the logic behind the third booster shot is that it will help people strengthen their immunity against COVID-19. But as to when we might need to take a booster, that's a more complex question. Dr. Catherine O'Brien from the World Health Organization has said that while a third dose does increase a person's immune response, that right now vaccines are holding up extremely well in protecting people from severe diseases, including new variants. She therefore sees no strong evidence for people to take a third dose at the moment. There is a caveat though for the immunocompromised who have a reduced ability to fight infections and diseases. O'Brien says people who didn't respond to the first two doses may have to take a third dose and that the ultimate goal remains getting everyone vaccinated. She said the focus now for the supply needs to be to protect those people who are not yet protected at all by vaccines. It will reduce transmission, it will reduce the likelihood of more variants emerging and it will give us time to see more of the evidence about whether or not booster doses will eventually be needed. She went on to say that nobody is safe until we all have the opportunity to be vaccinated. Several countries, including the US, Canada and South Korea, have already started administering booster shots. In the US, the Centers for Disease Control has recommended booster shots for various at-risk age and occupational groups. It says that while the vaccines remain effective, emerging data suggests that vaccination is less effective at preventing infection or milder illnesses with symptoms over time. Here in Hong Kong, booster shots for the elderly and high-risk groups started being administered from November the 11th, regardless of which vaccine they have already received. Everyone is recommended to receive a BioNTech booster shot because it may elicit a better immune response, according to the Hong Kong government.